YouTube, IEB Figs here. Now, I have to apologise for the lack of uploads this past week. Um, school's starting to get a bit busy, the workload is starting to pile up. Exams are coming up in a couple weeks, pre preliminary exams, and also working as well. So, I have to apologise for the lack of uploads, but we're back today, and we've got something awesome to show you. Let's show you. So, I have a friend that used to be a big fan of wrestling and I had no idea he had all of these but he just randomly messaged me and asked me if I wanted a wrestling ring and a bunch of figures um I said yes please and he didn't want any money for them like I offered money but he was just cool to give them to me so thank you so much um th that's so kind uh look at this awesome ring we've got so it is like a classic WWF ring, two red ropes and a blue one. Um, as it says WrestleMania on this side, SummerSlam on this side, Royal Rumble on this side, and Survivor Series on this side. So what an awesome looking ring. I actually don't recognize this one from anywhere, but it is a big ring. Like It is uh, definitely bigger than those Mattel spring rings. Um, I'm not sure where exactly this one came from, but so awesome nonetheless. So let's take a quick look at all these figures. Man, he, he's, there's some uh, bone crunching actions in here, some jacks, some Mattel, he, he was saying, and um, I think some, some LJN. Oh, it might have been what he was saying, I can't remember, but we've got Jerry the King Lawler here. We have, I spit on the face of people who don't want to be cool. What an awesome looking Jax Carlito figure that is. We've got Booker T, or turn him around there. Yeah, awesome looking Booker T figure. We have a stretchy Batista figure. I can't remember the name of the series, but it's pretty cool how they stretch and that you can get them to do whatever they want, really. We have uh, D'Lo Brown from... Nation of Domination, I think. Ahmed, oh, Ahmed Johnson. Now, a lot of these characters are from the New Generation era in the mid-90s. Now, I'm a big fan of wrestling, and I know a lot of wrestlers, but there are some wrestlers from this era that even I don't know of. We've got Farouk here to go with D'Lo Brown. We have um, one of the headbangers that's... Thrasher, I think it is. I don't know. We'll keep him aside and see if we can find the other headbanger inside. So, oh, no head on that one. We've got a headless gold dust. It's got to be gold dust, that one. Um, yeah, even though these are used, it's so kind from to give them to me. Obviously, he, he used to play with these um, when he went to primary school. We've got Sting here. It's a WCW figure. It's so cool. There's such a variety of figures in here. Um... I've definitely seen this character before, but I just can't put my finger on who this is. So if you know who this is, please put it down in the comments below. Now, I've definitely seen him before, but yeah, I just can't put my finger on his name. This, um, it's got to be Ken Shamrock. You know, it's kind of hard to tell because it's just his upper half, but if, if I had to guess, my guess is Ken Shamrock. It looks like Ken Shamrock a little bit in the face. We've got Rey Mysterio here. It's cool blue and yellow and red attire. We have Rocky Maivia. That's a pretty funny figure. Um, oh, looks like it might be one of the smoking guns, but it's you can't really tell because there's no head on it. This it's if if this is a wrestling figure, a figure of a wrestler, it's got to be Bob Backlund. <laughs> it has to be. Um, yeah, another headless one. Looks like, it, it, it kind of looks like the attire of Hunter Hearst Helmsley, though, but can't be sure without the head. Um, here's the other headbanger right here. So, we've got, um, both of them. Um, I think this is Thrasher and this is Mosh, but if I'm wrong, please let me in, know in the comments. I feel so dumb in this video because, uh, for once, I actually don't know everything about this stuff. We've got Stone Cold Steve Austin body. Um, well, this is a big figure. This is like an LJN figure, I'm pretty sure. And if I had to take a guess, I would guess that this is Mr. Fuji. But who really knows? Yeah, this, this has some weight to it. This is definitely like an LJN style figure. It's got to be LJN. I just, if I had to guess, it's got to be Mr. Fuji, but 
I could be wrong. We've got Road Warrior Animal. We've got Nikki from the Spirit Squad. Or if you thought that the face looks familiar, that is WWE's Dolph Ziggler as we get some focus. And that's pretty realistic looking. Uh, it's crazy to think how far Dolph Ziggler has come in 12 years. We've got... Oh, it says kid. Yes, it is one, two, three kid. I, th I thought that looked familiar. There's no head on it, but you can definitely tell that's one, two, three kid, aka X part. We've got a Shawn Michaels body here. Um, oh, yeah, the other one of the smoking guns. So we've got both of them here. One of them headless, unfortunately, but oh well, it's still cool to have the set. Is this, um, is this Duke the Dumpster? Could be. <laughs> Yeah, for once, I'm not an expert on all this stuff. I feel really dumb doing this video. We've got Sid Justice, uh, a.k.a. Sid Vicious or Psycho Sid. Another another character that I definitely recognize. I feel so dumb for not being able to put my finger on what the name of this character is. At first, I thought from far away it looked like Brian Pillman, but he's got the eyeliner on it, around his eyes, so... I'm sure many of you out there know who this person is, so please uh, feel free to let it uh, let me know down in the comment section. Another one I'm not quite sure about. Uh, wearing a blue jumpsuit. Um, maybe it's just be because of the jumpsuit why I don't know who this is. I'm not actually 100% sure. I don't recognize this character wearing a bl blue suit. We have a Jax edge figure man look at the expression on that head jacks they did some pretty damn good looking head sculpts back then we have a mark henry figure i don't recognize this attire that this figure has but i can definitely tell by the face that it is mark henry wow we have some uh heads we've got uh jerry the king lawler's crown we have this is vince or shane mcmahon it's got to be one of the two we have one of those stretchable Shawn Michaels figures. Can he, can he do the super kick? Uh, I don't know. Yep, he can. Bam, super kick. Probably my favorite figure of the bunch. It is a glow-in-the-dark Undertaker figure. <laughs> and it actually still does glow in the dark. Oh, this had to have been the head from that Shawn Michaels um, over here. Yeah, there's its head. Maybe we could glue that. I'm not sure. Um, another headless body. We have a pretty damn cool looking Kurt Angle figure. That looks cool. The attire looks awesome. It would be awesome if they could do that attire on a Mattel figure one day. So who knows. We have an Owen Hart figure. That's awesome. Knowing that M Mattel will most likely never be able to make an Owen Hart figure. That's a pretty cool one right there. Um, we've got some, like, loose parts um yeah another head a, a random leg we've got ladder um we have oh, i don't recognize that one at all actually and we have two more figures in here oh actually three we've got this looks like a ripoff of sting <laughs> but this could be an actual character i'm not 100 percent sure and we actually have two Mattel figures in here. We have the Royal Rumble 2010 CM Punk figure. Now, believe it or not, this was actually my first ever Mattel WWE basic figure. It was a CM Punk. I chose it out for my birthday. Uh, this is what started all of this. This figure right here started the trend. And now look at what it's become. Uh, seven years later. And Chris Jericho from the Royal Rumble 2010 series too. So man, what an odd. Oh, we actually do have some more heads in here. Um, we've got a hat. We've got um, a kilt. Another kilt. A steel chair. A, oh, a WWE Championship belt. And the last two items are a gold dust head and a stone cold steve austin head so man what an awesome haul and actually in the middle of the ring it has a wwf logo on it so man look at all this stuff that my friend was he was kind enough and generous enough to just give this to me 
that is wow that is way too kind but i'm so grateful thank you so much for all this man what an awesome haul today wow so wow what an awesome and generous haul that was gifted to me by my friend and he didn't even want any money for it that that's the crazy part like i even offered him money and he didn't want it he just he was kind enough to give all that to me for nothing so thank you so much for all that um now before we end the video uh we've got some exciting news to share now i've been holding it off a little bit but because i was holding off until today uh where the tickets arrived for this particular event now when i found out about this event i think i was in the uh airport in las vegas ready to leave and we were just waiting around for the flight and then uh it was announced i'm pretty sure yeah we're in the airport for something it, it was in one of the airports in america i believe and they announced wwe super showdown in melbourne australia and <laughs> if, uh, man <laughs> I'm, I'm speechless already but i was probably already going to go anyway but then they went even further and announced Triple H, who I've always wanted to see live, against my absolute favorite wrestler of all time, The Undertaker. And Triple H versus The Undertaker is my favorite match ever. I've even spoken about it on the channel before. That's why I bought this really expensive plaque, uh, WrestleMania 27, uh, the signed plaque with the ring rope. That was my absolute favorite match of all time. I cannot get enough of it. And they are going to be doing that match again in Melbourne, October 6th. Man, um... Are any of you guys coming to Super Showdown? Oh, man, it's going to be such an awesome show. They just announced the Bella Twins are going to be there. Um, the Shield are going to be together in a tag team match. That is going to be some amazing stuff to witness live. Um, I just cannot go on enough about how excited I am to see my hero and my idol in person. The Dead Man, the Phenom. The, the last outlaw, The Undertaker. And I'm so excited to see that they're actually featuring this rivalry on TV. They've been putting numerous promos. And Shawn Michaels is going to be on Raw next week. How exciting is that? So, oh yeah, I've been going on for so long. So excited about it. I actually forgot to show you the tickets. The tickets arrived today. I can't open them up and show you because it's got like all the numbers and stuff. But the tickets arrived today from Ticket Tech. Oh, I'm beyond excited, man. Um, I said that last year was my best year, um, my favorite year ever because I, I had the honor of being inside a WWE ring, being presented with the WWE Greatest Fan Championship. Um, but honestly, outside of that moment and meeting Sasha Banks last year, that year was pretty, pretty average. But this year has been loaded with so many awesome things of uh, meeting hacksaw jim duggan and that that's just one of the things leaders coming to armageddon in october in new zealand um this <sighs> okay I, i've got to end it here because i've just been talking for way too long so excited um yeah thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed it please leave a like and leave a comment down below if you know some of those figures that i couldn't name for the life of me um i'd love to know what the, some of those figures are so thank you all for watching and i'll see you all next time that's it for the video i hope you enjoyed if you like what you see and you want to see more videos like this feel free to check out the video right there follow me on all my social media accounts at the bottom of the screen and most importantly, if you haven't done it already, click here to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.